I mean, it's just, I mean, this just shows you how much um, of, of a family Manchester United is. Um, they have always taken care of their, their players, um, and it's a real privilege uh, to have this opportunity, um, to have given this opportunity, and, you know, it, it feels really good. It, um, it feels really good. When I, when I heard about this opportunity, um, it just brought so much joy, and it's great to be playing with you know, with these exceptional players that I've been training with, um, it's helping me stay fit. It's helping me uh, stay sharp because if you're not sharp, they'll definitely be on you. <laughs> so um, I, I, I was out there training by myself. It's different. It's it's different when you have a team um, rather than training by yourself. You know, going to the park by yourself is great because you get in your fitness. Yeah, that's that, that's that's totally fine. Um, but it's hard to actually do the do the things that you want to do. Um, in order to you know stay in shape and, um, and stay sharp. So you've been back in the in the states working. Yeah, yeah, it definitely takes tolls on you. Um, but but I always you know when when you have these long injuries, when you have um, these uh, these tough moments, you you start thinking of you know why why you're doing this. You start thinking of the people who helped you go through this, um, who have sacrificed with you, and that's my family. And I definitely don't want to let my family down. Um, and my father always taught me to um, to always uh, persevere, to always you know go through that wall. If you want something, go get it. And um, if things have been taken away from me, you just gotta keep grinding. And um, that's what I've been doing, you know, since my first injury till today. Um, I know I can play. <laughs> I know I can. Um, thank God. But um, but um, but yeah, it's just it's just being strong strong mentally and just understanding where where you came from who helped you through these through these tough moments and you know not not basically letting them down yeah i'm just thinking it really day by day um i don't want to go too far out and thinking what could happen or what cannot happen i'm i'm enjoying my moment now um listen i'm, I'm training with manchester united i'm training away with the best players in the world and it's a privilege and it's a privilege so um like I said, taking it day by day and whatever happens, happens. I'll deal with it whenever I get phone calls or if I don't get phone calls. But you feel you? Yeah, you know, I, I really never even thought about him back, you know, back in the day if he was, if he was, if, if he had the capacity to, uh, to be a manager. Um, but looking past, just looking at these past three, four weeks that, he, that you know, he's been there, he's, he's, done, he's done a tremendous job. Um, it's not a it's not an easy task to come to you know uh, Manchester United um, taking over in such a very critical uh, part of the season and he's been doing amazing he brought back um, uh, the Manchester United way he brought back that tranquility that maybe this environment needed and um, and you know you just got to tip your hat off to him him and his coaching staff that have done just an amazing job. 
because obviously yeah, so. I mean when you see old faces like uh, like a feeling you see Ole you see Michael Carrick these are players and people who have been here through the good um, they they won everything and it's good to see these old faces back because it brings back a sense of uh, home of uh, of peace but in the meantime they're asking for your full on effort and you know and and to wear this badge with pride because they know exactly what what, what that means so um, it's a type of culture that has been that started I, uh, with Ferguson that's slowly bringing you know down to um, down to LA and to all these other coaches and and that's what's being installed again